Hi everyone, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to react to chapter 348 that came out for My Hero Academia. I've been very, very excited for this chapter. Um, I was supposed to check for spoilers. Uh, usually I do that for every chapter for My Hero Academia and Black Clover, but I was so exhausted from uh, editing the other videos I did and also studying for my uh, exam for physics that I, I just gave out around 3 a.m. <laughs> Sorry about the noise. Uh, I don't know what's gotten into the dogs if they decided to start barking while I began doing this. Uh, yeah. um, uh, but anyway, uh, let's begin now. I'm very, very excited to see uh, what's going to happen next. I mean, um, if my memory is not bad, I remember that um, Toga decided to make a love confession to Deku. Literally telling, asking him, like, oh... Um, to be her boyfriend so I'm wondering uh, what's gonna be the fallout of uh, the conversation between Toga and Deku and also Uraraka. I have a feeling they're not really gonna end up being good terms. So um, let's begin right away. Hmm okay so it appears the chapter is called 348 and it's true um yeah, Deku has encountered Toga numerous times, but she has never uh, confessed these feelings to Deku. <laughs> because all of his triumphs, he was still just a damn nerd. Uh, come on. <laughs> What are you talking about? Deku is like completely flustered. He has no idea what what to say. And of course Toga is completely flustered. Saying that she has loved him. You were covered in blood and, ju and you just looked like my first crush. <sighs> oh god, that face. I want it to be you, so let me suck some blood. Oh god. And Deku has no idea what it means to be a boyfriend. For fortunately, being a boyfriend isn't like going to an amusement park and holding hands. For Toga, it literally means something way different. Wow. The question that Toga is asking, what do you want to do to me? Wow. And it's the same question that she asked uh, Uraraka during the war arc. Wow, Deku does kind of understand Toga wanting to be like someone because you know Deku has always wanted to be All Might, but it nearly cost him his sanity when you know when he he went on his own and decided to become All Might 2.0. Goodness. Yeah, Toga is not gonna trigger the danger sense because she's not doing it out of malicious intent. And of course, this is the difference between the the love that uh, both Toga and Deku have for someone who they hold dear to him. Damn, that face Toga is making it's it's so sad. Man, she's literally remembering. The same words society has told her, especially her parents. Why can't you just be normal? Well, wow, even curious too. Uraraka. Yeah, if you're gonna live as you please, then you also have to live with the consequences. Good lord. Those eyes. Wow, you're just like Ochako, just like my mom and dad. Oh, 
Do you think that heroes and those they protect are the only ones who could count as real people? So people like you and I are destined to remain apart. That's so sad. Damn, the artwork for the fight between Deku and Toga looks amazing. The world rejected me, so I reject the world. What does that remind me of um, Tokyo Ghoul? Oh, Chaco, it's... Whoa. That panel? Goodness, it just gave me the chills. Oh, man. Oh, that's... That's Asui. Damn, he got uh, Ochaka really good. They need to take that knife away from her. Froppy. There you go. <laughs> yeah, uh, Toga definitely is the, the least predictable of their opponents. So, yeah, it, it was a great idea to send her to an isolated island. And it's even more the fact that, you know, she has this... She has twice his blood in her procession, so that really, like, goodness, this, I can't even imagine how the odds could change so quickly once Toga uh, drinks that blood. I guess both of us are kind of weird. It is true. <sighs> it's so hard to live being me, even though I'm full of all this love. Ah, oh, come on. The chapter has to end that way. And it was so good. Honestly, it was a great, great chapter, but also very, very sad, especially seeing um, Toga's face, that saddened smile, hearing... Deku's response and also Uraraka's. But that quote she said uh, that she rejects the world. Honestly, it's giving me Tokyo, Tokyo Gold vibes. It's so sad, but Uraraka is kind of right. I mean, if you wanna if you wanna live a certain way, you're gonna have to accept the consequences of your own actions. But goodness, I'm very very excited to see um, how the fight's gonna. Um, Escalate. Um, who knows if Toga is even going to let Deku leave. But Deku has to leave. He has to join the other fight. Because um, the time limit for um, Monoma's quirk. I think it's either 5 to 10 minutes. So um, yeah. How fast is he going to have to travel? It's just going to be insane. But good. <laughs> Where did I left out? I'm sorry, my phone uh, began ringing, so <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Um, uh, where was I? Oh, oh yeah, um, I was wondering like how long it would take that good to reach his destination, being that the island is 200 kilometers away, and Monoma of course has a time limit of using a, a quirk. So yeah, things look very very dire, but. The chapter, you know, it was talking about Toga. Honestly, that sad and smile, it's very, very sad. I'm wondering how the fight is going to be between Toga and Uraraka. Honestly, I'm very, very excited to see that. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching and I hope to see you for the next video.